files in Python. In this lecture, you will learn how to create a new file and open files for various actions like writing, that means creating a new file, reading the content of the file or writing, appending new data to the file, etc. So that is writing data to file and reading and also processing file data that we will do in the subsequent lecture. Now about filing system, as you are aware in the past, about 20 to 30 years back, if you went to any office, there were filing cabinets like this. And in that, as you see, there were folders here, which were called, and then each folder had a name. So this is a file which contains day contained data. So we are going to use a similar uh, method to store data, to create a new file and store data using what is called electronic data uh, filing system. So we are going to replicate what was done manually using computers. Therefore, it is called electronic filing system. So filing system is used to store information. The first thing one does is to create a file. That means take a blank uh, folder and then name that folder. Once you have named that folder, you take pages, uh, papers and write data to that. Whatever, uh, for example, if it is a college, then you write the student number, student name and address and all the information. Then we store these records in the file. And then uh, after doing that, we close the file. So this is all the similar things are also going to be done using electronic filing system. And I'm going to summarize this whole chapter in five to six questions and answers. And if you understand, remember these questions and answers, you will have learned everything about filing system. And then we will do a little practice with some problems. But what is the first question? First question is simple. How do you create a file? So those who have done C will remember, we always started with file in capital letters and said star FP. Now here we have, don't have to do that, it's much simpler in Python. We'll just say FH, that is file handle, open. I give the file name here and then mode. We will deal with that mode. Mode means uh, whether you are going to create a new file or you're going to read a file or you're going to append data to a file, etc. So these are the modes. So we'll deal with that. So this FH is a file handle of the file type, stores the starting address of the file once assigned. All right. Now it is very good practice is to check whether you have been successful in opening the file. Therefore, we always use try accept. Try means you try this, whether you have been uh, to open a file. If you have been open a file, of course, no problem. You go further and do whatever operations of writing or reading, etc., depending on the mode in which you have opened the file. Otherwise, except you give this message, cannot open the file, and then exit the program. You don't have to go further because you have not been uh, successful in opening the given file. So this is a good practice, so good programming practice. You should uh, use that wherever you open a file. So with that, we come to again continue. Uh, how do you open a file for writing and reading? The question one. So we use, as I said, fh is equal to open. In C, I say f open here, just open. You give the file name and mode. It is like taking a blank folder, putting a name onto that folder, and um, uh, mode, of course, uh, you, whether you create a new file or uh, file for reading, etc., we will deal with those. So these are the various modes. W means you put W here within invert, uh, inverted commas. So for creating or uh, writing data to a new file. R is for reading contents from a given file. A for appending contents to an existing file. We will be dealing with all this. So. For example, I can say fh open students.dat. This is the file name and this is a, I'm creating this for writing. That means I'm creating. If there is a file student.dat containing data, it will be wiped off if you, you open it in W. So you have to be careful. So therefore, this is how I open a new file called students.dat for writing. Secondly, again, I'm 
uh, opening uh, after that i have to close here so i can open the students dot that for reading r similarly so you can use also r plus for reading and writing b for binary file we will be dealing with those later so for example here open image dot bmp uh, image file for reading and it's, uh, it's in the binary mode plus binary mode reading and writing in the binary mode so this is uh, three ways of opening a given file so we'll take question number two so i have you know how to create a new file i have written data we will come to that uh, writing data and then how do i read the contents of a file where which already contains data very simple so for example i'll give a so first of all, I'll enter a file name, file name for example, dickens.dat. That it already contains a passage from uh, 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 one of the novels of uh, Dickens, The Tale of Two Cities. So I got the file name. Then I say name, open name. So that name will dickens.text will come here and I'm opening it in the reading mode, reading, right? Then, I, if I have been successful, I say print fh read. That means read is the uh, uh, function or method of fh file handle which will read that data. And since I am putting in print, it prints the content of this Dickens dot that. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times, etc. So this Dickens dot text contain this uh, uh, text. Uh, <coughs> And then I have printed the content of the whole file. So when you say fh read, it reads the uh, complete file. So again, reading content. Uh, for example, instead of reading complete files, I can I want to read only 70 characters. So the fh read 70. Uh, the rest is the same. And immediately what happened? I entered this uh, text, uh, the name of the file. And it opens this file for reading and prints here only 70 characters. 70 characters are printed. So you need, suppose you want to print the complete text, complete file, then you should not give any number here. Suppose you give some number there, it will only print so many characters from the file. So therefore, fh read reads the entire content of the file. And I said fh read 70 reads only 70 characters from the file. There are other methods also. Uh, fh contains read line. Reads a line at a time. So it, it, for example, here Dickens.text, it reads the first line. So it was the best of times. It was the uh, worst of times. And also it puts that... Uh, slash n and go to next line so that uh, uh, character also is printed so then suppose you say fh read lines it reads it print it reads all the uh, lines of in the text so that is remember so if you say read line means only for line where the pointer is and if you read lines it will read all the whole passage whole passage Whole file. So we see there, as I said, slash n is included when you print it. So print it. So therefore, how do I remove that? To remove that, I put in the print statement end and a blank here. So for example, print fh read line end is equal to to <coughs> inverted commas, and it prints without slash n. Here it printed with slash in. Here it prints without slash in. So this is how we use read line or read lines to other methods of the file handle. Uh, yes. Now about writing data to a given file. So we have learned how to read data. Question number three is how do I write data to a given file? Again, what we'll do, do a practice. For example, I enter one uh, file name test.text name I open it in the writing mode that means it is a new file it can, does not contain anything and then I say fh write I use this uh, method write method we used earlier read method I am using write method so write this statement 
uh, onto the file and write this statement onto the file and close it. This is very important. Now I open that file again in the reading mode. Please remember, after writing, I have to close the file and then only I open it in the reading mode and then I print. Uh, print. So let us see what happens. And immediately it prints what is contained here. You know, we said demonstrate command slash n means go to next line and it is prints as it is. So this is how to write data to a file. With that, we come to the next question, question number five. How to append data? A file already contains some data. I want to add extra data to that file. How do I do that is the question. Let us try it. For example, input file name to append data. I again uh, open the same file which, uh, where, in which I have written uh, two sentences. So I read it. Then I say I open that file for appending. So I got the file name I am using that is I say open text test dot text for appending. And then I'm writing now, right? So next line, this test is to show the working of append command and enjoy working with files in Python. So these two lines are written. Again, I close this file. Always after writing, you close it. Again, you open it in the reading mode. Of course, I have not shown you try accept, which is should do. And then you say fh. Uh, read and then print the content. Let us see what happens. Already it contains earlier, it contained this is to demonstrate the right command. Wish you all the best. Now I have written these two sentences as you see, they are appended at the end of the file which already contained two sentences. So this, this way you have learned how to create a file or how to name a file how to read data from the file, how to write data to the file, and we have uh, done uh, in this exercise here, uh, how to append data to the file. And uh, as I've shown you already, after writing and reading, very important, as you see in the past, uh, in the offices, after doing all that, they closed that cabinet. They closed the file, put it in the cabinet, and then closed the cabinet. Similarly, we need to close our file and that this is how we close fh close it closes the file which was open so please remember this very important otherwise your data also get corrupted so that come to two more functions here yeah? uh, they are methods of uh, files so how to get the position of uh, the file pointer as you know when you read the file pointer moves so when you uh, read and then you uh, it, it is at a particular location so how do i get the location fh tell gives you the location that it is at the 56th character then sometimes after opening the file i want to go to the beginning of the file i've, I've read some data but i want to go to the beginning of the file so uh, it's very easy then what you say is f this is fh seek zero that means it goes to the beginning of the file so this, they bring the cursor to the starting position of the file. This is fhc.c. So this is how we can go to a particular location and also to the beginning of the file. So these are two important functions we need while working out some of the problems. Thank you. Thank you.